Hi, my name is Pete Nicoletti, and I'm a field CISO of the Americas for Checkpoint. And I'm here tonight from Tel Aviv, virtually, to introduce a really cool thought leadership piece on how to stop phishing in two simple steps. Amazing, isn't it? And I've got a couple of stats and I've got a couple of interesting <clears throat> nuggets for you that's going to help you and it's going to be in a few minutes or less. So first off, we know that hackers send 3 billion plus phishing emails to a stem, you know, mainly to steal login credentials. They, you know, the consequences they steal, they, they get employee accounts <clears throat> and then you can suffer all kinds of consequences, ransomware takeover, reputational issues, financial damages. You know the drill every single day. We're getting sick and tired of it. But there's a couple of ways that are super duper easy to implement and don't take much cost. And in, in one case, your end users and your support desk are going to applaud you. So let's talk about the first one. Stop using passwords. I know we've predicted it in the security industry for years that the password was dead. It was RSA's uh, rallying cry for years when they were selling you secure ID tokens. So now that it's here 2022, let me check, you can implement a passwordless uh, protection scheme, an identity scheme. So we know the problem with passwords first. They set bad passwords, they use the same password over and over again. So you've got crackable passwords, you've got passwords that are that are used everywhere. And if you go out to I am pwned or am I pwned by the security researcher, uh, you'll find that your passwords have been reused and corporate in a lot of cases, People that have personal accounts, the corporate passwords the same. It's a huge mess out there with passwords, and we see the, the effects of it all the time. So <clears throat> what do you, beyond the, the, the problem, let's talk about stop using passwords. Well, what's really come along far is FIDO and the standards related to uh, facial recognition and other authentication schemes where it's who you know, you know, the two-factor authentication of uh, your name and, and what you are. So your facial recognition password and others, you know, there's some fantastic articles that, that Microsoft just released that are referenced in our article that she wrote. So stop using passwords. There's, there's all kinds of new ideas on getting away from passwords and your end users are gonna really celebrate you, trust me. So multi-factor authentication, the other thing the other idea. So it has to be enabled. Uh, once it's enabled, it's very, very difficult for hackers to log into account with a stolen credential because they're asking for something else. But as we know, there's all kinds of uh, circumventions to this, you know, with phishing kits that are stealing the, the cookies and doing, you know, man in the middle browser session uh, hijacking. And also with SMS redirection where hackers are paying somebody in a Verizon or an AT&T store to, you know, redirect their phone uh, and your SMS messages to you and uh, take over your phone. And in that case, you know, they're looking for banking credentials or looking for financial gain. They're looking to crack into your uh, accounts. With multi-factor authentication, of course, it makes it much more difficult, especially uh, my next idea. So let's, you know, those are the two quick ones. Let's go into a little bit more uh, of some advanced tip, tips that, uh, you know, most security professional knows, but for you, it's going to be a quick review. Audit your account privileges. You know, every account that has elevated privilege privileges, if it gets hijacked, they can gain access to everything in your environment. So you really need to look at uh, uh, the follow the privilege, you know, least privilege principle. You know how to do that. Review, harden, monitor all administrator accounts. And I like to put an expir expiration date on it, you know, and have it have it be renewed, you know, six months, a year. You don't have to have uh, accounts out there forever. Disable them, remove administrative privileges that aren't being used. You know, you have to audit those things and find them. And if you haven't seen a login in 30 days, time to go. Also, establish and enforce a security baseline to reduce risk. Of course, that kind of makes sense. Now, the advanced ones are DMARC, SPF and DKIM. So DMARC, SPF and DKIM, anti-spoofing standards, 
and they can cut, they can cut down significantly on phishing attacks. So uh, the problem is only 30% of organizations are using them and a lot of them are misusing them. So talk to your consultants, get to your email people. And here's my plug for Checkpoint. With our newest Avanon uh, API-based email solution, a lot of these things you don't have to worry about because Checkpoint focuses on prevention. And most of these things won't end up in your inbox. You won't have to spend as much on training because you won't be depending on your employees to be your last line of defense. So take a look at Checkpoint and I, I hope you uh, enjoy this article. It's out there at CyberTalk. It's in the thought leadership category. How to stop phishing in two simple steps. I'm Pete Nicoletti, Checkpoint, signing off.